Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus f of y equals x plus y plus 1, and we're supposed to solve for f of x. Suppose f of x is con continuous. Suppose it's a good function that satisfies certain properties that we need to use, so on and so forth. Okay, so how do we solve for f of x in these kinds of equations? Well, replacing x and y with certain values will definitely help. And uh, let's go ahead and just give it a try. So I'm going to first replace y with 0. And that's going to give me the following. f of x plus f of 0 equals x plus 0 plus 1, which is x plus 1. Now, f of 0 is obviously a constant, and it is defined. Let's go ahead and call this something else. How about replace f of 0 with c? and c is a constant. All right. So now that's going to give us something nicer. We can write it as f of x plus c equals x plus 1. Now in functional equations, if you can get something like this, this will, will be awesome. Because from here, it's very easy to get the f of x. So for that purpose, we do need to do the following. We're going to replace x with x minus c on both sides so that we can get f of x. So here on the left hand side, inside the parentheses, we get x minus c plus c, which is f of x. And on the right hand side, since we are doing the same thing, we're going to be getting x minus c plus 1. Great. Now, we got an expression for f of x, so we can just go ahead and substitute this into the original problem. What is our original equation? It is f of x plus f of y equals x plus y plus 1. I'm going to show you an alternative method to get to the answer after this. So let's go ahead and do this way first. So I can just go ahead and substitute. So since I know the expression for f of x, in other words, we're replacing x with this on both sides so that we can get f of this. So f of x plus f of y, I hope you don't misunderstand, it's not f of x plus f of y, but f of the quantity x plus f of y. So it's going to be equal to x plus f of y on the right hand side minus c plus 1. And we also know that this is equal to x plus y plus 1. From here x cancels out, leaving us with, and the 1 cancels out, that leaves us with f of y minus c equals y, and then we can just add c to both sides, and that's going to give me, or us, f of y equals y plus c. Great. So we got another expression for f, f but in terms of y this time, last time we had it for um, in terms of x, but it doesn't matter because as long as this function is pretty much defined everywhere and it's continuous or whatever, we can replace uh, y with any variable we want. So why don't we go ahead and replace y with x here. And again, these two x's are not the same. We're just using these, you know, uh, randomly. So replace y with x and you get f of x equals x plus c. But at the same time, we know that f of x equals this. So what is that supposed to mean? It means that they're equal to each other. So we know that f of x equals x plus c as well as x minus c plus 1. Since both of these expressions are equal to f of x, they need to be equal to each other. Let's go ahead and set them equal to each other then. x plus c equals x minus c plus 1. Again, this is true for all x in the domain of f. And c is a constant, but we're going to find the value of c from here. Cross out the x values, and you get 2c. Oh, man, I should have used b at, so I can say 2b. But anyways, 2c. Okay, to see how this goes, you have to do... 2c equals 1, and from here you get c equals 1 half, which is kind of nice because you got two expressions for f of x and they're equivalent, so it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use the top one since f of x can be written as x plus c, and now we know that c is equal to 1 half. I can basically write f of x as x plus 1 half. So this will be the solution to our equation. Now, when we got this expression here, f of x equals f of x plus c equals you know x minus c plus one let's go ahead and get back here and see what kind of alternative methods we have so f of x can be written as as you know this is kind of like my second method f of x can be written as x minus c plus one now how am i going to use the value 
uh, of C or how am I going to use this equation to find C? Now remember, C is equal to f of 0, right? That's how we named it. So why don't we just replace x with 0 on both sides of this equation because we have an expression for f of x. So let's go ahead and replace x with 0. That's going to give us f of 0 equals negative c plus 1. But f of 0 is equal to c from here. Therefore, I can replace f of 0 with c. That gives us the following equation. And if we add c to both sides, we get 2c equals 1. 2c or not 2c. From here, we get c equals 1 half. Therefore, f of x one more time becomes x plus 1 half. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and hasta la vista.